As a young man, should you trust people, girlfriend, close friends, etc.? Blood, I don't trust nobody. How many times have you heard about man them getting set up by their brethren? Supposed to be their close dog getting set up by their brethren. What about that Birmingham rapper that got robbed for his chain? Yeah, he got it back, but the fact that the man even robbed him in the first place. You can't trust brethren out here. <laughs> How many times have you heard about the man them beating their brethren's girl? When the man's in jail, or he's on road, he's free, doing a little dirty behind his brethren's back, blood. I was doing a reaction video, and there was one chick. Um, she got plastic surgery, whatever. I mean, she was nice, but she was plastic. One of them plastic, fantastic tigs, but if you saw it on road, you would move to it 110%, unless you're too short to, innit? Anyway... This gal was like one of them Puerto Rican things in America. Her boyfriend got killed. Um, some gang thing. He got shot dead and that. And I remember there was one specific part of the video. Where she said that, yeah, you know, it's hard. It's difficult, obviously. You know, you're getting over the, the death of your ex who was murdered. She's like, it was, it's hard. It's hard. You know, I cry every day and that. But luckily, I've got the support from... My ex has passed away. I've got the support from his friends. They phone me every other day just to check in on me and that. And I'm thinking, I don't think them man there are checking in on you like that. You know, I think them man there are trying to slide in. Like, I could never imagine having a brethren that passed away because he was murdered and me phoning his girl every other day or even checking on her once a week and that. Fam, I'm trying to get over the death of my brethren. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. Yeah, you deal with it. I reckon... Them man there are trying to creep in the back door, blood. Them man there, certain man will think to themselves, well, boy, my man's gone now. She's got to move on someday. So you may as well start moving on now. You're just prolonging the inevitable. There's certain man, I promise you, I will never know this for sure to put my life on it. But I'll put strong money on it. Some, if, if you see the way this girl looks, some of the brethren... They would be trying to creep in the back door. I promise you. Yeah, and probably when he was alive, they was probably trying it. There's no way a girl that looks like that has her ex, her dead ex's brethren is trying to comfort her and, and then man, they ain't on slide trying to creep in the back door. I could not believe it. I could not believe anything else. You can't trust friends, man. Like, <laughs> there's so many scenarios I could come up with that I just... You know, I've just seen things in that. I mean, I remember shit. Man, man, take notes, yeah? If you have a friend that is always gossiping about their friend's business, what the fuck do you think they're doing about you behind your back? So, like, I know a man. I would never want to tell him my business because he is going to run it to his girl and his girl is a chatty, patty type of person. Literally, I remember going to Lincoln, man, it's yard, and his girl's there, and his girl's saying, Oh, don't say anything to me. Don't don't say anything. But you know, such and such, talking about a female, she's getting beaten up by her boyfriend, you know. But I don't even know the girl like that. Yeah, I've spoke, I've seen her two, three, four, five times and that, but man don't know her on that level for you to be telling me that she's in a domestic violence situation, blood. Why are you telling me that? So now I'm in the headspace where I think to myself, like, I can't tell my brethren nothing because I know he's going to have pillow talk with this girl and tell her, then she's going to go run it to the whole world and that. Trust me, I've gone to people's functions. They had a little birthday gathering for their youth. I remember I went to one one time. I don't know how old the kid was at the time, probably like five or something. The youth's like 14 now. Gone to the yard, well, it's a flat. Gone to the flat. And obviously, I got there, and there's like probably 10 people in the room. So I sat down, there's a bunch of women. You're right, you're right, you're right. Sat down, boom. All I'm hearing is, yeah, man, she, she thinks she's better than everyone. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Look at the way she was dressed or whatever, in here. Talking, I'm just thinking, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, whatever. Right. Or maybe it wasn't even that obvious. She, what, they, they were saying something like, yeah, she thinks she's better than everyone else. Something, 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 and forget about the way she was dressed, but they was saying something like she thinks she's better than everyone else and this and that or whatever in it. So I'm sitting down and I just had to interrupt all of them. I was like, hold oh, on a minute. 
was the person that you're speaking to just here? They were like, yeah, 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 yeah. She literally just left as you came. Like, just, just, as you came, she just left like two, five, two, 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 three minutes ago. I'm surprised you didn't even see her in the lift. I think, and imagine, yeah, it's the host of the function who invited this person to their yard talking about them like that. That's why I had to reword what I'm saying because it wasn't clear that the person was there before I got there. But just the way they were talking, I had to interrupt them. And I said, like, hold on, was this person just in the house before I got here? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They left two, three minutes ago. I'm surprised you didn't see them in the lift. I'm like, rah. So people can invite people to their yard. And as soon as they head out the back door, they're running them. They're disrespecting them behind the back. And it's supposed to be this person's friend. You just can't trust people. People get red eye. Start hating on you and that. Trust me, I know someone. They're making a little bit of money now. You get me? They're increasing their, their salary and that. They're doing well for themselves. They get around their people who are struggling that. And they're, they're people that are coming out with some little snidey remarks. Oh, you think you're rich now. I'm not saying they're saying that word for word. But like, oh, oh, oh someone's rich. Oh, so, someone's doing well. See them things there? I know. If someone is saying that, that's like tip of the ice, but they're just telling you a little bit of what they truly feel. Sly hating on this is someone that you get me, they're close with and that. That shouldn't even be making them little snidey remarks. And I'm not saying the remarks that they're making are anything that you need, even need to address or check someone on. But what I'm saying is that just tells me what this person's thinking. They're hating. Can't trust these people. Certain time, like, I don't even want to become friends with anyone new. Especially, like, I, I only want to be friends with people who are bare minimum at my level, but I'd rather be friends with people who are a little bit above, man. Yeah, you get me what I'm trying to say? A little bit ahead of man and that. Because I don't want no one who's on my level or a little bit below around, man, because they might just start trying to hate on, man. So, there's certain times I think myself, like, yeah, I can make a new friend and I'm thinking, nah, fam, they might just be hating on, man, or a sly blood. But, to close the video... Um, this is when you know you can't trust someone. I know a man. Man's people, innit? Me and this person who's man's people know someone. Um, at one stage, we're all friends, but you know how things dissolve and that, innit? Boom. So I'm still kind of, uh, at the time, I was still kind of talking to this person. But my man, who's my people, he had stopped talking to him. Anyway, I told him, blood, just reconcile with him, innit? See if he can, you get me, um, you know, build back up a friendship and that. Anyway, boom. My man's got in touch with my man after a couple of years and that they're talking, innit? So anyway, my man that knows, that I know, yeah, my brother, has phoned me and said, oh, yeah, I reconciled with my man and that. We was chatting, innit, for a little while, innit? Cool. He said, oh. Oh, I really want to say something, you know, but I'm, I'm not going to say it, innit? Cool. I didn't even respond to that, yeah? I just ignored him, innit? Carried on the conversation. 10, 20, 15, 15 minutes later, my man said, you know what? I'm just going to say it. You know my man, the person that he hasn't spoke to for two, three years, you know he ain't even beat for three years, you know? And I'm thinking, blood, a man has told you something that's personal and my, he's embarrassing and that. Why are you running it back to me, fam? Like, you know, there's certain man, like, they really have to... Just they, they, they just want to talk people's business and that. I'm thinking to myself, well, if he's talking that about him, what's he saying about me? If you've got a brethren right now that chats about their brethren behind their back, what do you think they're doing behind your back, my brother? They're talking your business, blood. And the maddest thing is as well, yeah, if you have a friend that talks about their friend behind their business, yeah, you see their friend, if you'd ask them, do you think he would ever talk about you behind your business and that? Behind your back? They'll say, no, he would never do that, huh? If you have a friend right now that talks about their friend behind their business, just be careful with them. They will chat about you behind your back. But just before I go, as a rule of thumb, just think to yourself. If you want to have a question whether you can trust someone, think to yourself. If I had 10 million and they could get hold of it without me knowing and run off all my money. If I gave them 10 million to hold on to and they could disappear off planet Earth and never have any repercussions... Would they rob me for 10 million? If the answer's no, then you could trust them. If you're a bit, mm, I'm not too sure, well, then you can't 100% trust them. Because I know I can give my mum 10 million, she ain't going nowhere. Anyway, that's it for today, man. Stay well, it's done, man.